techniques, trying different ways of kind of switching up my wash and go a little bit with my short hair. You guys saw my very first wash and go with this cut and I noticed when I washed it back, I was like, wow, I was still doing a lot of the same kind of techniques that I did when my hair was a lot longer. So a lot of those techniques are no longer necessary. And so like I said, I've just been playing around every wash and go, switching things up a little bit. I've kind of nailed a little bit of a very, very simple routine and realized that it is looking a lot like Miss Bianca Renee's routine. So that's what we're gonna be doing today, trying her exact routine on my short curly hair. I'm very excited. One, because her routine is all about simplicity. She calls herself a lazy natural. I love that because I am also a lazy natural. I was forced to do a lot of extra steps, extra things for my long hair just because it needed it. That's really one of the reasons why I ended up cutting my hair because I just cannot seal. And also how cute. But yeah, she's all about, you know, simple, as little steps as possible, but still being able to achieve a bomb wash and go. She loves curl definition. She loves a good, strong hold for her hair. I actually spoke to her and I asked her for a product recommendation specifically for this video for a gel. So we're actually going to be trying a gel that I've never used before, one that she swears by. So it's going to be very exciting. Fun little experiment using my curl friends routine. So let's go ahead and get into it. All right, so one of the things I used to do with my long hair that I was really forced into, especially when it started getting really dry and having a little bit of issues, was having to do a pre-shampoo treatment, not really a treatment, but pre-shampoo detangling basically every single time I was getting ready to wash my hair. So I would wet it, then I would sit there and I would take like just a regular conditioner, something super nice and lightweight, moisturizing, and I would go through in sections and I have to sit there and detangle my hair before we get to the shampoo. Because if I didn't do that, we'd be in trouble. We'd, we'd be in trouble with the tangles. Uh, currently, <laughs> I'm so happy to say that my hair doesn't really tangle like that. If it does, it's just a little jupe jupe and it's done. So I don't have to worry about that. And it's also something that Bianca does not do. So she actually starts her wash day with a shampoo. And we all know Bianca loves, 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 loves Curlsmith. So I've decided to do a Curlsmith shampoo, a Curlsmith treatment, and then her little, her favorite gel. I can't wait to dig into that. <laughs> so the Curlsmith shampoo that I'm going to use is the Vivid Tones Vibrancy Shampoo. I do still have color technically in the ends of my hair they're just toned to look dark to kind of match my natural hair you guys see it like because we didn't want to go flat with just one color so she did a couple like lighter darks and then dark darks so there's still a little bit of dimension happening and I feel like you can kind of tell I've, I've had a couple washes at this point so some of the toner is starting to come out slightly um, but I'm loving it I love the little bit of dimension that we got so anyways yes this is why I like to use color safe shampoos specifically so I can make sure that I'm gonna maintain this darkness as long as possible all right so one of the things that Bianca absolutely does not believe in is sectioning <laughs> So I'm not going to section. I think normally maybe I would section. I like to kind of do like my little extra short hairs first and then the big hair, but today we are following Bianca's routine. So I'm not gonna section when I'm shampooing. I feel like I have so much hair at the top here <laughs> that it would still, look at that. Look, it still feels like I have like a lot of hair. <laughs> I kind of feel like I would like to section, but I'm not gonna section. I'm gonna fight the urge. I'm gonna fight the urge. Maybe I'll just add a little bit of additional shampoo. All right, I feel like everywhere has got the shampoo, I think. I don't know about this little part, but <laughs> oh, my hair is so thick. But we proceed. I shampooed in about 60 seconds, so <laughs> that's great. Next up, I am grabbing the Curlsmith Double Cream Deep Quencher. I love this stuff myself. I am all about the moisture. Ugh, I just, I just, Curlsmith products always just smell so good. All right, so again, with the no sectioning, I'm just gonna plop it on top. Actually, what I see her do is she'll do like half. So not necessarily sections, but just one side and then the other side. So let's do that. All 
All right, so let me see how long this doesn't need to stay. In 10 to 15 minutes before rinsing or deep moisturizing treatment, leave on for 30 minutes. I don't, I don't have time for that today. <laughs> so I'm just gonna leave on for 10 to 15 minutes as I continue in my shower. Y'all, this whole time I had conditioner on my face and y'all didn't tell me. All right, so I'm gonna leave this on for about 10 minutes. I'm gonna finish up in here with the rest of my body care and all that good stuff. I am also gonna apply a little bit of hot water to my shower cap in order to open the hair shaft, get those nutrients to really soak in. Then I'll be back for us to do some styling. All right, so styling. I'm so, so excited to dig into this gel because I've never used it before. So when I was talking to Bianca and I said, look, what gel should I use? I'm gonna need you to tell me what your top favorite is, like your go-to, slash also what she thinks would work for me. And she told me this gel, which is the Dippity Doo gel, it says it's defrizzing, it doesn't have sulfates, parabens, alcohol, silicone. It does say light hold, which kind of surprises me for Bianca because usually she likes a nice, super strong hold, but I think maybe she did this for me. It's meant to shape, smooth, and separate your curls. So I am very excited to dig into it. Oh, did I show it to you guys? This is what it looks like. The packaging is super cute. Reminds me of cotton candy. Quick texture shot. It's not super jelly. It's the opposite. I don't know what we would call a non-jelly gel, but that's what it is. Um, I like it. It's, it's looking, I don't know, I'm very excited. I just wanna go ahead and put it in my hair. So in her videos, I haven't actually seen Bianca style her hair in the shower. I'm gonna do that just because I know we're not sectioning. I'm gonna need to continue to add a little bit more water and then gel and the water and gel. Y'all, I'll show you. I'll show you the little process that I do. But that's really the best way that I can see for us to make this work. It really just becomes a process of me adding more water and then more gel, more water, more gel until I feel like my whole head of hair is fully saturated with the product. Ooh. Ooh, this gel is honestly feeling so good so far. Let's do a little close up. The curls are curling, they are clumping. Look at these little curly burlies in the back. My favorite, y'all know these are my favorite hairs right here. <laughs> Only part that I'm a little bit worried about is this middle part, like right here. I have a frizzy patch that's just notoriously frizzy, so I'm just trying to check to make sure it's not frizzing out. Because if it's frizzing out from the shower, we're in trouble. <laughs> But it actually looks good. It doesn't look too bad. All right, so I think that's gonna be it for styling. It's looking really, really good. I'm so excited to see how the curls look when they're dry. So I'm gonna come out the shower, diffuse a little bit, probably air dry a little bit, and then we'll be back with the final results. Okay, final results. Uh, what? So firstly, let's talk about the gel specifically. It is so interesting. It is a very, very interesting gel because it does have light hold. It didn't dry with a cast, even though it might look like there's a cast. I don't know if y'all will be able to see this, but my curls are feeling very, very soft, but still obviously very, very defined. My hair is not frizzy. It's a very, very interesting gel. It offered great curl definition. I have a decent amount of shine and the curls are popping. Miss Bianca Renee, girl, I think we are about to have the same wash and go routine now because this, this is working for me. This is working for me in the short do. I, I'm here for it. So yeah, honestly, Bianca's routine 100% can work with my short hair. Would it have worked with my long hair? Absolutely not, ain't no way in hell. <laughs> my hair's too thick for that. So I, you know, I was forced to not be as lazy as I would like to be, um, but now with the short hair, it's popping. It's on and it's popping. I think when it comes to shampoo, I still will utilize probably three sections. So sectioning, definitely something that I think I will keep just a little bit. But yeah, honestly, keeping it so simple just makes me so happy because it's no longer a stress, you know? And I feel like for us in particular black women who have more super curly, tighter curls, thicker hair that is super dense, like it can be a chore. It can be a task to do your hair and it can sometimes take the fun out of your hair because on hair I love to celebrate hair and I love to say love it and make it your own and when it's hard it kind of takes that out of it and it's just frustrating and it's not fun. So I really and truly do love the idea of having a more simplified routine which is again 
why I'm loving the new cut. So funny enough, Bianca, if you guys haven't seen it already, if you haven't seen it, I don't know where you've been. But Bianca did do my long hair routine where I would pre-shampoo. I would do multiple sections when cleansing, when deep conditioning, and also when styling. <laughs> Bless her, <laughs> she went and she did all of that and tried that routine on her hair. So if you guys haven't seen that video, I will go ahead and try and link it below as well as like up here so you guys can check it out next. Um, but this is fun, this is great. I feel like we both had successful experiments and I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. And yeah, thanks so much for watching this video. I will catch you in the next one. Bye.